All right, now I'll go over Arcos. So I only have one sample of Arcos with me here. Um, most of the samples that I have I've collected, uh, and I do not have many Arcoses. They're not very common, actually, uh, around the world. Um, you're, if you pick up a sandstone, chances are, you know, if I spread you all out in, in, in the world and I said, okay, find the nearest sandstone, most of you would not find an Arcos. They're just not as common as some of the others simply because where they're formed, uh, that, that sort of sediment doesn't get preserved as easily. So thinking back to Arcos, what makes an Arcos an Arcos? It has at least 25% feldspar. It is the result of weathering of granitic rock, granitic source rock in an arid to semi-arid environment. Going back to our enchanted rock sediment. Now this is too coarse to be a sandstone mostly, but that sediment has, uh, is very rich in the material that is uh, derived from here. Notice that there are not many of the dark grains. These very dark grains typically weather, chemically weather very quickly, and so they become iron oxide, which would stain it kind of a reddish color, and um, would not be grains as much in the rock as say the feldspar, and of course, the quartz grains. So Arcos are one of our climate sens sensitive sediments. In order to become an Arcos, it has to be deposited in arid to semi-arid environment or um, with very little water or only intermittent access to water. The reason is because feldspars react with water and <clears throat> when they react with water, they become clay minerals. So they don't last very long in the environment. Um, unless there is uh, very little water present. So if we see an Arcos somewhere, um, there's some in Colorado. If you've ever been to Red Rock Amphitheater in Colorado, uh, there's some famous concerts that have been videoed there. That rock that makes up that amphitheater is an Arcos. The famous flat irons in Colorado, which are some layers of rock uh, that are exposed at Garden of the Gods, if you've been there, or uh, Roxboro State Park, um, those red rocks there are also Arcos. But it is not a very common rock to find because it is, it is a, it forms very specific climates and um, it, it cannot be, that climate cannot change and expose this to significant amounts of water, water or uh, transport, meaning uh, transport in a stream over some, di some uh, long distance or all of the feldspars will be gone, or nearly gone. So we would not have 25% feldspar. So that is the Arcosis.